Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're looking at another traveling knife. This one was sent to me by Tom from Knife Delights. And this was sent to him by CB Tactical. This is the Victorinox Hunter XT. And it comes with this really cool nylon belt sheath. And when you open it up, this is what you get. Now this sheath is kind of interesting. It's just a uh, Velcro. It has this nice little, I don't know if this is pewter or not, but a little metal uh, tab on it with Victorinox. But it has this little pouch in here that uh, it does not go all the way through. I stuck a ballpoint pen down in there to see how far it goes. It goes pretty much down to the end of the fabric here. I don't know what it's for. Maybe you could put a small uh, fire steel in there or something, some kind of a, something some kind of accessory of some type, but I have no idea what. Uh, as you can see, uh, rivets throughout, you know, so it gives you a nice uh, way to uh, put it through a belt. Uh, but yeah, this is a really cool knife. This is a purpose-built hunting knife. And so it's got several really cool features. As you can see on the back here, it has a uh, number two Phillips uh, screwdriver which is nice and uh, handy if you need it. I think this would probably be more handy around camp, having a, a Phillips screwdriver. I don't know that you would really need one because on most uh, firearms and stuff, they don't have uh, Phillips head screws in very many of them anymore. Uh, but that's just uh, one of the things. Of course, you have the ubiquitous uh, key ring that's there in case you just wanted to uh, hang it off your keys. But that'd be kind of kind of bad because this thing, just the tool by itself, is uh, 5.3 ounces. Uh, it's 6.6 .6 with the pouch. You do see the uh, little thumb holes, and you get some really neat locking features here. So you get a uh, what they're calling this is a uh, gut hook, but I think it'd probably be I don't know maybe more handy as a, as a bone saw if you were, you know, getting into, you know, disjoint uh, something, but that's just my uh, thoughts on it. But, you know, definitely you get this uh, serrated edge and it is sharp. Uh, and you see where it says press right there. And so it closes up. Your other one is your main uh, cutting blade. So you get a plain edge. And as you see, it doesn't say press on that side. It says press on this side. So it's kind of interesting. Your liner locks are opposing each other. So this one pushes to the outside and the other one pushes to the inside. So it's uh, really different because, you know, usually you press to the left and then on this other one, you have to press to the right. So I guess it's lefty friendly. You have this nice, uh, you know, kind of a, plasticized uh, rubber coating on the side. You have some little black areas that have a little more grip than the green areas. Uh, also with this one, you do get a saw. Let's see if I can open it. There it goes. I guess I was, it does not lock into place, but you get the, the wood saw. And that's kind of it for your tools. I was kind of surprised that it didn't have any kind of a opening layer for, you know, can openers or anything like that. And of course they subbed the uh, corkscrew for the uh, Phillips, but this was supposed to be a uh, hunting knife. Now, the only thing about it that I have to say is kind of a bummer is that as you see with this uh, little head sticking out there, it's, very uncomfortable. You definitely feel this uh, between your ring and your pinky fingers. And I don't think this would be comfortable to use all day long. It'd probably be okay for uh, doing whatever task you have at hand. But the same thing with the uh, bone saw when you are, or gut hook or whatever they're calling it, the same thing between your uh, ring and your pinky finger are laying right on that eye of the uh, blade and so in a way it would have been more comfortable if they could have uh, made that not as tall although I don't know if they you know just wanted to make it that tall on purpose 
but I think it probably could have dealt with that because even when you hold it in your hand, that's what you feel is you feel these uh, big curves. So I don't know if they could have flattened it out or made this more of a flat oval instead of uh, a round circle. It might have been a little more ergonomic because you see that they're using an ergonomically styled frame to uh, have this stuff, you know, be in your hand. And so it's kind of a bummer that the uh, blade is, you know, sticking out that much out of the uh, frame. It really makes it kind of, uh, kind of different. But what you're looking at uh, with your main blade here is this whole tool is uh, four and three eighths inches closed. Your blade is three and three eighths inches with a three inch cutting blade uh, or cutting edge rather. And like I said, it has the opposable liner lock, which is uh, kind of counterintuitive to me anyways, as a righty. Uh, and it was uh, just a little bit different, but a very cool knife. Uh, these are going for about $70. Like I said, it's, it's not bad. It's just, uh, it, it packs a lot of tools in a small place. This may or may not be what you want on your hunt, uh, but it definitely is there and it's uh, not a bad tool, not a bad way to go. So, like I said, kind of a cool knife, has a couple of things that were issues for me, but maybe not for somebody else. Anyways, that's about it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have to get with Tom and see who's going to get this next, but this will definitely be a very cool uh, traveling knife. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next one.